Hello friends, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fiona and I'm a full-time artist. And on this channel, I like to take you with me on my artistic journey, whether that means working on projects here in my studio, going out to see cool art exhibits, buying art supplies and sharing my haul with you, basically any art related content. So if that sounds like something you're into, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. So if you watched last week's video, then you know, uh, I got way too much footage for February and it was a very long video. So I broke it into two parts. This is part two. So I'm just going to let Fiona take it away and you'll see the second half of my February. I hope you enjoy it. Hi friends. It is Friday, February 18th. That's so wild. February always goes by so quickly. Um, but I'm trying to think, when's the last time I spoke to you? This is also my problem. Whenever I do these like month long studio vlogs, I like don't remember the last time I filmed for it. So you'll have to excuse me if I'm repeating things, but I believe I spoke to you guys on Monday and my main goal was to finish that painting I've been working on, which I did. And then I also finished a ceramic piece. So that's good. And then I've had like other things going on. So the mural that I'm working on for April, I finally finished and got um, like initial approval on one of the sketches. We had, you know, like three rounds of back and forth over like the last month, which isn't too bad. And um, now they have to share it with the township and of course get their approval. So there may or may not be more changes, but I'm hoping maybe in next month's studio vlog, I can share it with you. If not, certainly it'll be in April's because that's what I'll be doing. Um, and then the project I worked on last weekend, there's been follow up from that. But in terms of like studio, studio stuff, I finally finished that painting. I finished a ceramic piece and I'm going to hopefully get into more painting. I really need to get on top of that. My mom might come over on Sunday. Here's the thing. I got an email saying that I was exposed during the event last week, you know, typical contact tracing that's going on. Um, I feel fine. Five days have passed. I'm still going to go and um, get a test just to be safe, but I'm going to wait until I like, you know, I don't know. I'll be a week tomorrow, so maybe that's when I go. I don't know. I'm just kind of going by whatever the guidelines say, but so far so good. Feel fine. My husband feels fine. We are all good. Um, but just going to get tested just to be safe because I don't know if I've spoke about it on here before, but my father is going through cancer treatment, so I definitely don't want my mom coming over, getting exposed, and then bringing it home to him. That is not what we want. So. I will definitely be getting tested and um, making sure that I am all good before she comes over to help with this stuff. And then, um, so if that's on Sunday, today I wanna work on some painting. And I also, like I said, since I got that email about the exposure, I'm going to just stay home and it's a long weekend. So Andre will be able to like watch Zelda a bit more. So really like, Friday through Tuesday, just like working on paintings and these guys. So um, let's get into it. Also, this is random. I didn't think I talked about it in last month's studio vlog, but I got a shout out in this book, which was really nice. Um, she had connected with me, um, gosh, like in 2019 about being in this. And then um, I'd sent her my stuff and then all of a sudden I get an email being like, hey, I want to send you a copy of the book. So here I am. <laughs> a drawing enthusiast based in New Jersey. There you go. <laughs> Art has taught me to appreciate the journey. There you go. Because I think she gave me like some questions at the time and I answered it. But yeah, it was so long ago, I was working on a different body of work, that's for sure, than what I'm doing now. Um, but nice to see. I will link the book in the description to Amazon, so definitely 
pick that up if you want to see some lady art. Another thing I've been up to lately is trying to make my Instagram feed more colorful. I feel like it's been, I don't know, I've kind of neglected it and I just want to bring the color back into it. So I had photographed this on the white background and then just added some colorful paper and I think the post came out cute. Anyway, back to work. I'm just going to let these two dry and take Zelda for a walk and have some lunch. So hopefully they'll be dry enough that I can do another layer when I'm back. Thank you. 
Man, I'm so tired. But I really hope this comes out good. I think it looks cute. I could seriously take a nap right now. <laughs> but I have that feeling of like no plans weekend. I'm just excited to be in the studio being creative. It's a thing of beauty. Good morning. We are ready for the next layer on this and the red one as well. As you can see, Zelda is here with me. Let's do it. Wow, that took a lot longer than what I thought. But that is a good layer done. Now I wanna do a layer on this one, but I'm not thinking the small dots, I'm thinking the bigger dots, but it's still gonna take a while. Um, so we're gonna take a break and have some lunch and go for a walk. We'll be back. What is up with today's weather? All of a sudden, it just started snowing out of nowhere. Right when we got back in from her walk. Andre brought me a coffee. I'm blessed. Okay, time to get into work because my mom has decided to come over tomorrow and I know we'll be working on ceramics. So yeah, I wanna get some more layers onto these campuses, so. Let's do it. So I put out this rough palette yesterday, which I do sometimes when I'm starting paintings, but then I tend to go off course. <laughs> I found this pre-mixed paint that was still good, um, but I'm already thinking of doing something lighter here and then going over with something deeper um this one's gonna be a colorful baby like i'm thinking you know summer sunset sort of deal 
not a winter sunset, a summer one where you get like, you know, the yellow oranges. And then there's like, as the night comes in, it transitions into pink and purple and blues. Um, like I saw a sunset photo and I was just like, yeah, that's, that's a good reference. Um, was it? I might have just been even looking out my window here at some point. I don't know how it came into my head. That's how a lot of these color things happen. It's just like, it's just a picture in my head. <laughs> so anyway, that was how I just like started picking colors out of here. Like, yes, that's, that's a part of it. And then this one, I didn't have anything in mind in particular. I think it's sort of like inspired by what's around me. So obviously we got the roses with the white and I know I'm going to add some green into there. Also Zelda's toy that I've been staring at. So sometimes like that's how color palettes come to me. It's like literally something that's around. And I forget, I might've only posted it on Instagram, but when I was working on this rainbow painting, you guys might remember, it was, I was like, how am I deciding this palette? Like, where is this coming from? And then I noticed the cushion and it's like the same colors as that. So anyway, just letting you guys a little bit in on my chaotic process. It doesn't always have to make sense. That's okay. Um, because I find with artwork that people will bring their own meaning and feelings to it when they see a piece, if they relate to it anyway. So I try not to stress out too much and just make something that I enjoy. So let's get into it. goodies. This looks like it goes with these. <laughs> um, this is neat. Interesting shape. I like that. And then some of our testers have come out. So these are new glazes that we were testing. Um, and they look quite good. Look like they're all usable, which is great. We have lots of different blues this this season, so actually I'll put that over here. Here's some ones that are finished out of the kiln and a latte I made mom. <laughs> oh, hold on here. I'm getting a low battery warning. There we go. So there's this guy, which it looks like it ran a little, but overall, very happy with the colors. What red was this? The red gloss. Red gloss? Mm -hmm. oh, it's kind of brown yeah. or maroon. Yeah. It's pretty though. Yeah. I like it. Another little guy to be done. Put him over here. You can see we have stoneware and porcelain. Wow. Well, there you go. Here's its little matching buddy. See, it's so funny how crisp this came out mm -hmm. using the liner versus this one. I thought I was using liner. Was I not? Mm -hmm. Maybe I didn't. Or a different brush. Oh, look at that. That came out great. Looks good. 
so pretty. Overall, successful bunch. This is pretty too, actually, the reverse bonsai pattern. One of these guys, which we know we've sold something in this shape before. I think it was black, mm -hmm. so blue, just for a change. And then another blue on blue. Or I started small and then got bigger as I went down. <laughs> Cute. It looks good. What do you think, Zelda? Zelda approves. <laughs> um, is there more in here? Is this all... <laughs> is it this square or is it finished stuff? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Big bowl. That's nice though. What do you think, Mom? Yeah. Ooh. That might have to go in the solo show. <laughs> I think. And what else? Oh, the planters! That's gonna come to other art fair. Cute. It looks really nice. And is the other planter there? Mm -hmm. I wanna see them as a pairing. Next to each other. Uh, yay! They look really good. This is great. I feel like the kiln karma is gonna catch up with us <laughs> because we've had such good luck with how things look. Zelda's excited too. <laughs> awesome. Well, gonna have to make room for them over here, and then. We're going to discuss what to do next on these pieces. I have two pieces that I'm going to already work on today. And yeah, we're gonna get into a good productive day. A dirty bottom you stick to the kiln. Okay, so here's another done. And I know what you're thinking. It looks red, but the glaze we used is called blue pansy. And so let me show you what it'll actually look like here. Not this one, this dark blue. This is what the color will actually look like. you a comparison. This is what the glaze looks like. This is how it actually comes out. Yep. So we had a good productive day. Mom glazed all of these guys for me to work on. And then she's taking this box filled with ones done. And then 
this one as well since I just finished it. Um, and then I hope to bring more down to her on Friday. Today's Sunday, so that gives me this week to work on these. Um, we still have a stack of these, which is fine. She did glaze a few of them, so. Um, yeah, that's it for today. Peace. Good morning, friends. It's Tuesday. So what I plan to work on today is this little set here. I did this one last night, but my goal is to have these displayed on like a pedestal together is like a little clumping. So it's like they look like they go together, um, but they're also like individual pieces. Um, and yeah, I have a, like, a combination of like oranges and like green blues, and I'm gonna do black marks on all of them. And then you can't see it yet because the glaze comes out different, but it's all gonna have pops of blue. Um, but I think it'll look cool when it's displayed together in like a little clump on a pedestal. So that's all I'll be working on today. Okay, I'm cleaning up the aftermath of my art haul video. Obviously, I'm going to have to get it all onto the computer and edited, but just trying to figure out where to put my new supplies. I think this looks cute here. Um,
Hello, it is Sunday. Uh, had a lovely day out yesterday, walking around Industry City. We met up with my sister-in-law and just chilled. We just kind of felt like we needed to get out of the house for a bit. You know what I mean? So anyway, I am back in the studio today. I'm going to work on my paintings as well as my ceramics and see what I can get done because I didn't get to go to my mom's on Friday because we had a crazy ice storm. Like it was really bad out there. And by the time it kind of melted and cleared up, it would have been pretty late in the day for me to go. So I'm going to do that. Mom also informed me that our large bonsai that came out of the kiln has a crack in it, but we have ordered a Kintsugi kit and we're going to try that. Um, so I might make a video on that. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, so just going to get some work done today and probably wrap this vlog up. So we're going to end it strong Sunday in the studio. Let's go. Okay, we are all boxed up and ready to go. Uh, hopefully that stuff can get into the kiln this week. I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog here because it is the end of February. It went by so very quickly, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Leave a comment below and just say, hey, I like to hear what's going on with you guys. How was your February? What'd you get up to? Did you make anything? Do you have plans to make stuff? Just wanna hear from you but I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, stay well and stay inspired, my friends. Bye.